To be honest, my dream is just to be here. Like, I just want to do this for the rest of my life. That would be the ultimate dream. Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> During this time, since I uh, have just been here, just uh, meditating a lot. I've been meditating a lot. I suggest that as well. Meditating is amazing. Um, and usually meditation doesn't work very well for me, to be completely honest. And journaling a lot. Journaling is great for mental health. I strongly recommend it. Journaling advice, I would say, right now would be such a great it is such a potent time to journal i think it's going to be really important even just for your future self to look back on this time and see how you were feeling and what you were doing um and journaling helps pass the time too why am i so nervous doing this live chat i haven't done these in a really long dios mio this is it these lives make me nervous I'm tired of being what you want me to be, feeling so faithless, lost under the surface. I felt this way a lot when I was in my previous life, I like to call it, when I was in the program. <laughs> um, I felt that way a lot, that numbness of feeling disconnected, of feeling like there's so many different pressures and so many different boxes that one must fit into. And I did not function very well under that kind of pressure. So that, I think I just, I relate to this song a lot. I listened to this song a lot during that time. You know what I mean? Like this song has followed me throughout my life. When I was younger, I used to sing this song at the top of my lungs. Like with so much feeling and so much angst. And I was little, okay, I was young. I was a young when this song came out. And it's interesting because now I feel it on a whole nother level. And I'm singing along and I'm like, Dude, I feel Chester, man. Like, I feel these words wholly differently as someone who has stepped into a space of celebrities and, and fame or whatever, you know? Like, I feel like there's a new layer to these feelings and what he was saying, and specifically what he was saying, versus like how I interpreted what he was saying when I was younger. I think finding lyrics that reflect all kinds of emotions is important. At least for me, like writing has always been again a way that I express myself and a way that I feel seen in this world. And via books or via poetry or via 
music especially, it's always amazing to find yourself in, in some lyrics and, and be like, wow, okay, I'm not the only one. And actually, a lot of people like this song, so maybe they're also feeling that. Set up a little mini studio in my apartment that I'm getting acquainted and familiar with. And I'm kind of like taking engineering lessons and just kind of like Ooh. getting into being able to vocally produce myself and maybe produce some beats. I'm in the process. I'm not promising the thing, but I am definitely exploring it and getting over my fears in that regard. Um, Cause I also felt this way about songwriting. So now that I'm past that, I gotta get past this one. I've been like really just spiritually in touch, like just spiritual practice, like meditating and reading my cards and like praying and making sure that I'm alive.